If gold is too expensive, just create it on Photoshop. Today we're creating that golden man and a golden text effect. Hey there, my name is Ali. You can find all the photos we're gonna work with today in the description below if you wanna download them and follow along with us. Today we're making this guy have a golden face and see how we can add text uh, in gold effect. First thing we're gonna do, we're gonna add the brightness and contrast layer. Make sure first you cut the model and then I'm gonna link it below to, the, to him. Then I'm gonna reduce the brightness a little bit and I'll pump up the contrast a lot. Yeah, something like that. Then I'm gonna add a new adjustment layer, which is the hue and saturation. Make sure it's also linked below and go to colorize. In the colorize, we need to like take the gold color. Just like to make it easy, always use like 40, 41, something like that. I'll go with 41, but make sure of course you have like high opacity, something like maybe 70, something like that is good. Okay, now it's already like looking pretty good, but we're gonna add a little bit more. I'll add a curves adjustment layer, make sure I'm linked below. And I'm gonna bring the shadows a little bit down and the highlights a little bit up. Okay, now let's see what we did. We did these three. Okay, then what I wanna do now, uh, his eyes got a little bit too dark, so I'm gonna stand on my brightness and contrast. Uh, mask and then using a black layer I'm just gonna erase some of the darkness we made here and there yeah okay much better now what I wanna do is I'm gonna stand on his layer and press ctrl j this will duplicate the layer I'm gonna just ignore the below one now for now and I'm gonna work on the top one I did this so that if I made a mistake or something I don't want I always have a copy to work with I'm gonna go to the dodge uh, tool, the burn tool, sorry, and I'm gonna make sure it's on shadows and not, don't use like very high exposure. Now I'm gonna make the shadows even darker by going on them, like holding click and making my shadows even more darker. Uh, yeah, something like that. Then I'm gonna change it to the dodge. I must make sure I'm on the highlights and very low exposure. And I'm just gonna highlight the highlights. See, it's very strong, so I'm gonna press Ctrl Z. Make it something like 6 maybe. And I'm just gonna burn a little bit of the highlights. The highlights are the places where the light fall. So if it's gold, it should have like high reflectivity. That's why we increase a lot the highlights in these areas. Okay, something like that is good. Okay, one last thing. I want his eyes not to be like the same color. Maybe some of his lips also. So I'm just gonna go into hue and saturation. Use my brush at a very low opacity. And I'm just gonna erase some from here. So his lips doesn't take like 100% the color. Yeah, slight different. Okay, and then I'm gonna what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna add another hue and saturation layer. I link it below, make it colorize, and go with like something, something cyan, something like that. Okay, then I'm gonna stand on my layer mask, press Ctrl and I. Now it's removed, and then if I paint with a white brush, I will bring back the hue and saturation. So I'm gonna paint on his eyes, just use stronger opacity. Just paint like that. The blue will like be good with the golden because they are like contrasting colors. So now I guess we're done with the model. Okay, now I'm gonna show you if you wanna make like some sort of a before and after thing, what you we're gonna do. First, you need to make sure the layer below is open. Then we'll group all the layers we made and add a layer mask. And then select everything just from the middle like that and press Alt Backspace, making sure we're on the black color just to remove the effect we made. So now we have some sort of a before and after. Okay, now to create the golden effect, I'm gonna make a new document, 1000 by 700 pixels, and then I'm gonna create. Okay, now I need to make sure the background is black, so I'm gonna press Alt 
backspace to color it black then using the text tool I need to make sure the color I'm using is somewhere between the yellow and the orange and it's on top left that's the gold color I'm gonna add a new text I'm gonna type Photoshop then I'm gonna make the size like a little bit bigger okay something like that then I'm gonna press a click go to blending options and click on the first one which is bevel and emboss now I wanna just like play around until I feel like I got the gold effect yes then make sure this one is on that one the contour and I'll play a little bit with the angle yeah make it something like that you can try like keep trying until you get the best effect okay something like that is good make sure your screen and your multiply is like the same the white and the black color one with white with green and black with multiply and also make sure it's like the inner bevel not anything else okay now we made the gold we want to add one thing to it which is the lens flare so I'm gonna grab my lens flare here move it to my document then I'm gonna press alt and click so it's linked to the layer below out I'm gonna just like adjust its size and make sure it's on like of course screen mode so it's like only the lightning part is appearing from it okay just to wait I'm gonna like remove it yeah I wanna like make it something like that first then I'm gonna hold alt and just drag another one maybe in another place somewhere here okay now they look they still look I'm gonna merge them first but they look bad what I need to do to fix it is I'm gonna take my uh, my eraser and I'm just with a soft eraser I'll just erase the edges yeah like that I don't want the hard edges and to improve it even more I'm gonna go to image adjustments brightness and contrast and just pull the contrast to the max and maybe reduce the brightness a little bit yeah something like that if you want to play around with the color you can go to it's too orange compared to the gold so I'm gonna go to image adjustments hue and saturation if you see the orange is here the yellow is right to it so I'm gonna move this one to the right a little bit yeah now it's looking yellow okay and finally if I still think it's too strong I can just reduce the opacity okay now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the two layers press ctrl J then ctrl E now I made a duplicate and merged them together now I'm gonna press ctrl T right click flip vertical now they are flipped vertical I'm gonna align them perfectly just below like that then I wanna like make it some sort of a reflection so I'm gonna add a layer mask go to my gradient tool make sure you're using the first one in the gradient then by holding shift just pull up until you erase some of it from down like that and reduce the opacity a little bit if you want okay now we have our golden text effect I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and learned something from it if you have any comments or suggestions make sure you leave them in the comments below thank you